Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video. I know it's been a while uh, since I made uh, a card video. But I wanted to remind people, I know it's kind of my fault because I haven't reminded you guys and I know I've been really busy. Plus, I'm still trying to work some things out with YouTube, uh, deciding if I want to keep making videos on YouTube or on the other channel, uh, which is uh, the Daily Motion channel. Um, so first things first, uh, a couple videos ago, probably like a month or two ago, I said I was going to do like a 1500 subscriber like mail day video. I got a couple of things in from Panini. Some of it I'm not sure. Some of it I, I traded in points. Some of it was redemption. And uh, I guess um, the, the other one I think was uh, just something that they owed to me. Uh, I did get something and I can't show the, the front, but it's from Greek freak uh 34 cards or bucks cards i i forget which name he's using and i'm sure he's going to comment or he could comment below so i did get one thing from him so eventually i'll make a video um if nobody else sends anything in um uh, which is fine i just wanted to remind people if you want to get in on any videos um <clears throat> mail day videos that to send some stuff in like i said it's up to you if you want to grow your channel but either way it's fine with me uh because eventually i do want to open these up and it's not necessarily I'm waiting for people to send stuff in. Like I said, I'm primarily waiting to hear back from YouTube about getting monetized and a, and a couple things like that. Um, or I'll try and figure out what videos are going to go on what channel. But anyways, just want to remind people, um, if you want a more in-depth uh, explanation, I'll try and link the original video if I can find it on my channel. But aside from all that, like I said... Those videos will come later. I just want to remind people, if you want to send stuff in, uh, just go ahead. I did find a new three-point box. I know these are huge. Uh, they don't have the greatest hits, but uh, they were kind of a big hit on YouTube. Um, a lot of people love these videos. Uh, they look like they made the box smaller, so I don't know what that means. The price is still 15 bucks. I know when I first started doing the one with the yellow boxes, and I'll probably link a couple videos if you want to see some of the old ones. Um, they started at like eleven ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, then they got really popular and uh, sold out. And I guess they raised the prices and the quality inside. It, it's debatable if it got better or worse. Um, uh, but if you're new to these three point boxes, uh, I'll remind everyone: it's one autograph, one mem card. Uh, one hobby pack plus three regular retail packs uh, and like I said at my target I think this is a target exclusive uh, they're $15 each I only found one so that means they probably came out and then sold out really quickly because they're really really popular um, have I searched YouTube real quick I haven't seen that many videos um, of these new boxes I know the yellow one was the old one um, but, uh, I'll have to, um, I'll have to kind of search again, but, uh, I know, like I said, some of the quality might have changed. Uh, this one's the Hobby Prestige 2013-14 Hobby, uh, Donruss Retail, another Donruss. Well, this is Donruss Optic, uh, which is a pretty good one. Optics is was really good um why am i not seeing the year i guess it's on the back uh 16 17 um 17 18 regular donruss and one of these packs which are pretty awesome the tops um but these you probably get like a dollar from the or 50 cents from the vending machine so that's something that you can kind of factor if you want to buy these or not and then like i said um you'll get one autograph and one mem card guaranteed so obviously i'll start with um donruss optic and i'll do this this is cool i like this stuff like i tell everybody i'm a big 90s person uh i don't know about the year 92 who's rookies and stuff like that but i'll have to hope we get something good uh and even though these are retail i've gotten this times, if you remember from the videos, I've gotten like maybe uh, two extra hits, you know, in the packs and stuff. Uh, so don't be worried um, if you don't get uh, good hits or something like that. You might get something in the packs. Uh, so George Hill, Dennis Smith. So that's a really good rookie to get. Uh, 
probably my favorite rookie from the from the class here. Very um athletic. Reminds me of Derek Rose. Um Nurkic. And not numbered, I don't think it is. And that's gonna be a really good card because I think it's a die cut. Uh Lou Williams Prism. And I don't think it's numbered, doesn't look like it. But it's a Prism Refractor parallel. And no, it's not a decal. I mean it's not a um die cut. Clay Thompson, so that's a nice looking card. I have a feeling he's not gonna be on the Warriors that much longer. I feel like he's getting overshadowed by everybody else and he's really talented. Anthony Davis, Clay Thompson again, and Al Horford. So not bad for the first pack. I mean you get a Clay Thompson Probably the best rookie talent wise, Dennis Smith, in my opinion, because I know somebody's going to comment. And a refractor, so that's pretty good. And hopefully, op the only thing bad with Optic, you only get four cards. I wish it was like six. Um, so, first one is Vala Sunas, Henry Ellison, Aaron. Gordon, uh, Refractor, obviously, and Jamal Crawford. And again, to remind everyone and myself, this was 16-17. Um, and this is probably going to be better than the Hobby Pack. I'm not going to lie. Unless I get a nice hit in the Hobby Pack. But, like, I'm going to go with this one. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I know a lot of people in the comment section don't like these three-point boxes. You know, they say it's junk, it's not worth it. It's just for fun. Uh, you know, unless you, like I said, unless you get, like, two extra hits, you know. Uh, Harold Miner. And that's the back of it. I like this because it had stats. The new cards don't have any stats. Um... Sometimes it's cool to kind of remember who they played for and their college stats and all that stuff. Um, Bryant, Sm Bryant Stith, 92, draft. Um, Marce Marcelonis for the Warriors. Terry Old Green, that's an interesting name. <laughs> Hubert Davis. Oh gosh, I hate that they're all upside down. Marlon Maxi. Guess this is a rookie card. James Edwards. Victor Alexander. Sucks that they don't give like these are like so low rated players. Uh Anthony Pollard. Because I, I could swear there's better players back then. I think there were. Uh, Mark Bryant. Nate McMillan. Isaac Austin. Eddie Lee Wilkins. Danny Young. And Terry Cummins. That wasn't as good as I remember. I'm sure there were better players in 92 93 than what they gave me there. But it is what it is. Uh, hobby pack. Eight cards. Kevin Love, Ken Fareed, Steve Nash, Havlicek, Prestigious Pioneers, Thomas Robinson, Markeith Morris, Alex Len, and Tyshawn Prince. So nothing there uh, at all. And for the two hits, I'll do the... Um, I'll do the jersey card. And like I said, this is just for fun. I mean, I know people are going to, like, dog every card, which is fine. Like I said, it's just for fun. And it's like, like I tell everybody, it's kind of like gambling or doing a lottery. Like, you get something good sometimes and sometimes you don't. Not every uh, lottery ticket you buy could be worth, uh, you know, a thousand bucks or whatever. Um, so, anyways, Jordan Adams for the Grizzlies rookie card. Um, a blue parallel. Not numbered. And the other thing, too, they're not, like, packaged. They used to be, um, 
in sleeves, but they're not. Luckily, I think I have some sleeves. And I'll probably end up doing some of this stuff for a giveaway. So that's something else to be looking forward to. If, even if it's not good cards, at least I might do it in the giveaway. Uh, so anyways, Nolan Smith is the autograph. Uh, sometimes, too, like I said, even though they might have tanked in the NBA, uh, they can, they might have been a good college player or played for a good team. Like, like, for me, like, if they're a Duke player, you know, or anybody from the ACC, like, I would collect them or, you know, keep the card. Um, but I'll have to do some research on this person, see where he played. Oh, well, let me see. This probably isn't game-worn, but I'll double-check. Event worn material. Uh, so Nolan Smith and uh, trying to, I have to look up what team he played in, in college. And I mean that's pretty much it. Like I said, uh. I would have probably bought like two more boxes, but I only saw one, so I don't know if they sold out really quickly. Um, when they put out, put them out. I wonder what year this is, or if I can find that when they put it out. Unless this isn't. No, I was gonna say maybe that was the date, but that wouldn't make any sense. So like I know Panini, they put the date out. I don't think this was 2017, but. Um, Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Some people complain and say it's not worth it, but I guess uh, it's a risk if you're looking to hit like an, a really nice autographer player. Um, I mean, I've, I've hit some good boxes of these, so can't complain. Uh, hopefully, like I said, I'll find more. Maybe they're popping up more. Uh, maybe I'll check some other targets. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, just to remind you if you're still watching, if you want to send anything in, uh, I'll make a couple of mail day videos. Uh, give me some time. I'm still waiting to hear back from Panini. I mean, from uh, YouTube about some stuff. All right, I'll see you guys later.